me. How can I help you? Check status. I can help you with your case status. Before I can give you your case status, I will need your repeat number. I will be delayed. To speak to the USCIS, you must be the applicant, the petitioner, or the authorized G28 representative. Good morning guys, it is another day. I have been on the phone with the US immigration office oh, to try and set up and figure out honestly my travel situation. If you guys are American, you probably have the luxury of not knowing what the US immigration system feels like, but <sighs> I have to basically ask permission to leave the country and also permission to come back into the country and I've started this process now for I started this process back in March to be able to leave now in August and I still have not heard anything from them or not heard but like I still haven't gotten my approval to leave yet and literally they told me to set up like if you have to set up an emergency appointment and like you know we need to expedite the process just give us at least two weeks before your travel so that we can have everything sent to you and i was just on the phone with them to set up that appointment oopsies oh lord to try and set up that appointment right now and they basically said sorry wedding is really not an important enough reason to set up an emergency appointment you're just gonna have to hope and pray that they decide to allow you to leave in the next two weeks which means that that is going to put a big damper on the wedding in Ethiopia because that means it's not gonna happen even though it's already planned and like 300 people are gonna be showing up 300 people that's not the bride and Miles is not gonna go without me because what is he gonna do in Ethiopia at a wedding without his bride. <sighs> so it just kind of sucks. It's really making it really hard to enjoy this process because obviously this is something that I was really looking forward to that everybody like I literally have family flying in from Europe to come and go to the, the wedding in Ethiopia and like it's just been one thing after the other with the US government. <laughs> uh, like I don't, I don't, I honestly don't even have tears to cry because this entire thing, I haven't really like talked about it in the wedding series because I'm like, I was honestly just like stepping out on faith, hoping and praying God will make it happen, obviously while doing my part in the process, but I don't, I, I also don't want to give up hope on it because yeah, we have two more weeks, but a part of me is just like, uh, I don't even want to get my hopes up. I'm just going to start planning for the worst. Which sucks because like I'm like I just want to enjoy the wedding here But it's like knowing that the wedding in Ethiopia might not happen and all the freaking planning like the wedding dresses the Everything there and like to be honest with you guys. That's the one that almost all of us were looking forward to you know anything about me it's not even that like I'm trying to be a bridezilla or it's not even like about me I think I'm just like it's like the disappointment in like the family aspect you know it's just so freaking disappointing and just knowing how much work and time and money went into it it just feels like such a freaking disappointment
step, one more step, and then we're almost done. Back up, almost done. Back up, hold it. Yeah, <laughs> You're right, mommy. So I don't even know like how to differentiate which week from which day when I'm going back to edit this footage, but I don't even know. I don't even know if I have enough footage to make all of this like separate vlogs. This might just be a mashup of all the different days, like just leading up to the wedding. And what a dramatic few weeks it has been. Holy moly. It's been ups and downs and all around. <sighs> and shout out to Miles. Honestly, I feel like I don't give him enough credit. But yesterday when I was like literally severely having a panic attack and like just all the thoughts, all the negativity that was going through my head, the giving up, the just call it, you know, let's just cancel it now let's just let people know that it's not gonna happen he was just such a trooper and the only reason why I even got out of bed and went surfing was because Miles was like come on we need some vitamin D we need some vitamin S A C C is better you know and he was so right because I, I got crushed by a couple waves and there's it's very annoying but there's something about being in the ocean being in the sun your brain your molecules you guys know that I don't know the science behind it well, all I know is, although I didn't feel like 100% like, yeah, I'm back to positive hay one, it just made me realize, okay, we're good. Like, as annoying as this situation is, like, how much can you complain when you can go out and surf in Hawaii on a bad day? Like, <laughs> bad days are just not the same out here, you know? They suck! They can come! But you don't have to react to it in the same way. All right, I got my pictures and... I'm not gonna lie, for just some light makeup, I think this works. What? You know, sometimes you have to take a picture to realize that your eyebrows are so uneven. What the heck? I don't have eyebrows like that. That's weird. I gotta take something. is people I know who are gonna want to dance, I wanna keep them closer to the dance floor. Okay, well let me ask you something then. Uh, have you figured out sides? I don't, um, I thought about that, like doing like, <coughs> like my family on this side, your family on this side. Yes. But I don't wanna focus on that too much. I want to kind of also have a table where I know your family will kind of, feel like your friends would mingle well with my friends kind of. <laughs> Let's get, and then you know what's gonna be irritating is that at the end of the day, all these people are gonna, have, when they get there, they're just gonna move the tags around. Yeah, no, not even tags around, but like also with these tables, mm -hmm. they don't have to have defined seating because we're doing buffet style eating. Right. So also, they, I have a question. I have to cut you off. Actually, go ahead, finish. I was gonna say, what if we did like Habisha, your family, Habisha, your family, Habisha, your family, Habisha, your family, because then it kind of forces. People to kind of intermingle, but also if I, this family wants to talk to this family member, I want people to like get up and walk around and like not just like okay. sit down. I like you know? that. I like that. I like otherwise, that. these people are my my parents they and their friends. Their they will stay in their corner and they'll not move. So I don't want to. Well, so. The last time I picked up this camera was like two days ago and so much has happened since then. Well, okay, this sunscreen is mineral. But I'm sure you guys are probably waiting for an update on what is the verdict, what is happening. And I'm gonna use this time as I'm getting ready to give you guys a little testimony, a little, well, testify, testify, because the craziest, craziest thing happened. Obviously, you guys see I'm smiling, so things worked out. But if you guys don't know, I am 
Ethiopian. I am an Ethiopian by nationality. Miles and I have been going through the green card process while also planning our wedding ceremony. And the wedding ceremony is, if you guys know in the Ethiopian tradition, there is the white dress ceremony, which is happening in North Carolina and it's happening in a week's time. <sighs> and then we were and are planning to do the mess in Ethiopia. And so I needed to apply for a travel document to travel. I applied for this travel document months and months ago, but because of backlog reasons and whatever or other excuse, hold on a second. I basically had to plead for them to like expedite my travel document and beg them to give it to me. And I got to the, I consulted with a lawyer and they were giving me such a hard time. You guys saw me like literally losing it last week thinking that I've like, failed everybody for not being able to show up especially because we had so many people like that were planning on traveling to ethiopia from all the different countries and stuff so it just felt a little overwhelming anyway so i was able to get an appointment guys i can't even tell you how lucky i was to even get an appointment and then on top of that i get to the appointment the lady that is taking my appointment is basically saying like girl a wedding is not an emergency situation like how did you even get here who gave you this appointment? Obviously in the grand scheme of things and you're thinking of an emergency for travel, it's usually because somebody has died, you're about to like, you know, lose your business, like a real emergency. Um, but I'm over here making the case that me being the bride and this wedding is an emergency and she was not buying it, which is why this feels like such a testimony because she was, she was just like, girl, like, <laughs> no, like she was just so shocked the fact that I had the audacity to even be there. <laughs> totally agree like listen i'm right there like I, I get it but she was there with another woman i think she was training and then um she was like all right you know because i looked really sad <laughs> like i was about to start crying because i really was you know as you guys see i was i realized now too now that my period is about to come and the emotions were running high in that moment so she was like all right all right like let me go check with my supervisor and then i'll let you know what he says but just letting you know like this is not something that counts as an emergency in our books as she goes into the back i just say a little prayer and i'm like god if it's meant to be it'll be but just give me the grace to accept whatever happens and if this is meant to be and you know you answer my prayers like i i, I would really appreciate it i really appreciate it and in this moment like let me just tell you guys my mom was praying up a storm and i always say this a mother's prayer like oh my before I have kids, I really need to get my prayer life together because I would really be handicapping my kids if I don't pray the way my mother does because the lady comes back and there's like a look of like <sighs> the way she's looking is like almost like like just this look for me I'm thinking all right she's about to be give me bad news she's trying to like give me a hint that it's not gonna happen so I'm like bracing myself to like take the hit <clears throat> and she goes, you are so lucky and I was like what and she's like you are so lucky because the my supervisor approved it and I'm thinking to myself wait <clears throat> what is what because I'm like confused about the fact that she looks almost disappointed the enemy tries to take you down but I think for her it's like a level of shock because she in her mind she's like this is not an emergency like Bleh. and again totally understand because it kind of is not inter when you look at things from a perspective of life or death but she was just like yeah you're really lucky because I don't know they usually would not approve it and so she goes to the back to like while she's doing my paperwork I'm in shock here you know running around trying to frantically like make sure I have a check make sure I have all my documents together trying to give her all the information she needs and she goes to the back to like make copies or prints us or whatever and the other lady that was there is looking at me like girl the devil was looking against you she, she didn't say these words i don't want to put words in her mouth in case they find this they probably won't but like just in case like the girl was basically like no like you're really lucky because they've already turned away like four people today who had proper proper emergencies and they couldn't even get to the point where they saw the supervisor so the fact that homegirl who's been turning people away all day, went to the back and like they approved this wedding. And I, I swear to God, these are the words that came out of her mouth. She's like, I hope you know you're really blessed and you should definitely be praising God at your wedding. And I was like, <laughs> like what? In that moment, 
it, I just had one of those moments where like, you know, God is looking at you like, yeah, I did that, I did that. And I was just like, <sighs> so Christ is the virgin on my end. Now the only thing we're waiting on and I'm, I continue to pray upon is the fact that Miles has to get everything together. Because he is in the military, there are certain things that he needs to get cleared. I don't really know the full process with military traveling places, but I know it's not as easy as like a regular American civilian going to travel leisurely, especially because, you know, you just you just never know. And so with him being in the military, there are certain approvals that he needs to even get on a plane to travel internationally. And that's what he's currently sorting out. And I know, I know that I know that I know that I know that God didn't bring us this far just to bring us this far and he is good and faithful and I am just I feel so extremely blessed I feel like I won't literally after that meeting I just felt like I needed to tell everybody I was like let me tell you the day that I had let me tell you about the miracle that I just witnessed because that that shouldn't have happened that that was wild to me anyways um, this, uh, we're going super basic because I'm really not doing much today. I will show you guys how far we've got on our seating chart. We've actually made quite a dent on it. And then I got a package that I'm going to open for you guys. It's not a wedding package. All of my wedding related packages have gone to my sister's house just because things take forever to get to Hawaii. I wasn't trying to risk it. And I knew that if I had it sent to Abby's house, that it was going to reach there. And she has a crap ton of stuff and I was like oh my god you should do an unboxing for me to post on my videos but she didn't it's fine our CD chart is finally done I'm not good I don't really think I care that much you guys see this but this is kind of what things are gonna look like we have one long table one long table one long table a dance floor in the middle and a few circular tables and the circular tables honestly are just like a functional piece um, I wanted all long tables but then I for conversation, let's be real, I've sat at a few long tables before, and for conversation, these kind of box you in a little, so we had to be super strategic with who we put next to each other and across from each other, whereas this, like, you can talk to somebody across the table next to you. It just gives you more avenues for conversation, so people that we feel probably wouldn't know each other that well but would bond, we put around the circle tables. Dance floor in the middle, and then DJ is down here, and doing the seating chart was probably the most fun that Miles and I had because we were just like talking about our friends, not in a gossipy way, but like, like, who do you think would get along with her? Oh, I think she would love her. Oh, these people have something in common. And it's cool to kind of like draw that out. But oh, I know that you guys can feel it. The way that, like the mood, my mood, my mind, everything was just so consumed by this immigration document stuff that, that I feel so much relief. I feel like a lighter person. Like I, I feel like myself and I feel like I can now get to the point where I'm actually excited about the wedding and start moving and growing.